Hey YouTube, this is Fans Kid coming at you. Today I'm making a coin ring out of a 2014 Kennedy half dollar. Now, as you're already aware, if you've seen my other videos, the first step in making one of these is punching a hole in the center of the coin. You know what I like to use? I like to use this nine piece punch and die set. So that's what we'll be using in this particular case. But what I'm going to be showing you today is basically how to do this with any coin with any size punch. How to find the exact center of that coin. Now, what are you going to need other than your nine piece punch and die set? Bam! You're going to need a digital caliper. Freeze! Do not move. I know you're already freaking out and getting ready to get out of this video because you don't like the sound of buying one of these. But these can be picked up on Amazon for 12 bucks, 13 bucks. You don't need a really high tech one. I'll leave a link below in the description box on 12 bucks and you're ready to rock. Now, as you can see, this particular caliper and the caliper down in the description box has a millimeter setting or an inch setting. Uh, so they're real, real easy to use. You can't miss it. Just turn on the old button. Bam. There you go. You got this little wheel here that rotates back and forth or slides, whatever. Go to the very back. Make sure you butt that up there and then zero it out. So we're at zero now. All right. The next thing you're going to need on top of that digital caliper... You're going to need one of these bad boys. You, can you read that? That's the important part. Don't get a semi-fine or a kind of fine. You need this one, an ultra-fine point. Okay? That's it. So now, to find the center of your coin, we're just going to need to do some simple math. First thing you're going to do is you're going to take your caliper and you're going to measure the diameter of your coin. This particular coin is 30.63 millimeters, so go ahead and write that down. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your punch. I'm using a 7 16 punch for this and get a reading on that. Diameter of this punch we're going to be using is 11.09 millimeters. Go ahead and write that down, 11.09. Okay, so you got your coin diameter at 30.63, your punch is 11.09. You're going to take the coin diameter minus the punch and what you end up with on there is 19.54 millimeters now divide that by 2 and there you have it 1954 divided by 2 is 9.77 so what we're going to do is you're going to take your caliper and you're going to zero it or turn it on make sure you're zeroed out which it is and then you're going to set this at 977 okay give me a second this can take a minute all right once you've got her locked in go ahead and tighten it up so this doesn't move anymore okay now once you've got your caliper locked and ready to rock you just take your coin right you're gonna butt it up against one of these edges I like to use the bottom one easier for me to hold and then you're just gonna draw a line all right make sure you're right up on that it's kinda hard to do with this grip angle bear with me and draw a line across that. Now you're going to rotate it. And I'm saying just a little. See that? That's, that's good. Draw another line. And you're going to do this. Rotate it a little. Draw another line. You're going to do this all the way around. Rotating it just a little bit each time. Now it doesn't matter how long these lines are. As long as that line travels through the center. You're there. Well, you get the idea. So we've measured in 9.77 all the way around. The tighter those lines are together, the better. It's going to give you a nice solid circle. And that, my friend, right there, is dead center. Okay, now what's nice about these punches is you can see, right? Let me go grab a toothpick or something. Hang on. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just try and center this up, and I'll give you a look at how this is going to look when we're done. I think I just nailed it, if you can believe that. Okay, this is real close. I want you to have a look down in here. Now, you see how you can't see any of the marker. See that little bit right there? So we need to adjust this. When this is perfectly centered, 
you won't see any of the marker along the edge unless you're really coming in you know at like a at a hard angle right there I can see it but straight in looking straight down you shouldn't see any let me center this up a little bit more that my friend is dead center and then you're just gonna take your punch and try to land that you know straight up and down as possible do not try don't move that coin is the punchline oh and as you can see that's dead center so and all you need is a twelve dollar caliper to do it now suppose you weren't using punches right suppose you just needed to find the you were gonna drill it out pretty simple you you would take the coin diameter and divide it in half uh, draw some lines across the coin and you'll find dead center this is fence kid coming at you have a good one guys peace hold it okay hold it steady and whack it boom just like that we're through and so just steady you don't want to move that coin boom okay hold it steady and give it a nice whack boom we're through come over here to the old anvil party hole punch that through with a punch all the way and just like that folks let's have a look at how we did not bad how does that look I'd say I sent I'd say I nailed it